Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Ida. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a video on reverting my straight hair back to its natural curly state. And you guys, don't judge what my hair looks so bad right now. It's severely dry and I put some wand curls in it for a bit. And then I just wasn't upkeeping, like I wasn't putting oil in it or serum or anything like that after a while. I don't know, it's just like, you know you get so lazy when you have straight hair because you just can't believe like the low maintenance and then you take it way too far. Usually I actually get into the shower and then just like wash my hair, put some water in it first and then the shampoo and then conditioner, deep conditioner and all that. It usually takes like, a few washes for my hair to get back to its curly state, like fully. Um, so, but this time I kind of want to try something different. I've watched a couple of videos on reverting your hair back to curly and a lot of times like they actually put in the conditioner in their hair first um, before they wash it and they kind of let it sit in for a bit and that kind of helps encourage your hair to get curly a lot faster. Um, and then they go ahead and wash it. So I think I'm gonna try that just to see if it makes a difference. And I usually put my hair in a wash and go after because I feel like the gel will encourage my curls to come back even faster. I have my spray bottle with warm water because I do have low porosity hair and I feel like warm water really does help open up the cuticles. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray that. And it's actually so funny watching low porosity hair revert because we have such a hard time getting our hair to absorb anything, like even water. Like when I get in the shower to wash my hair, it takes forever to get completely wet. But I'm gonna try this um, conditioner that I actually just got actually recently. I heard such good things about it. It's called the Love Your Curls brand. Oh, it smells really good. Wow, it smells amazing. I've never had a conditioner that smelled like this before. I don't even know. How to describe it actually but it's really really nice very smooth very very easy to detangle well I guess there's nothing to detangle but you know what I mean to distribute throughout the hair I'm actually gonna put a lot in because my hair is dying of moisture how do you guys moisturize your hair when it's straight I feel like you can't because isn't the only way to moisturize your hair through water and products that have water in it but then you can't when your hair is straight. I feel like as soon as I put the conditioner in, it did really help encourage the curls faster than just the water, so that's good. I've seen people like scrunch their hair too to kind of encourage the curls, which I feel is helping as well. But I kind of see why people do this, so it is a lot easier. Especially if your hair has been straight and dry for so long, I don't know if it's a good idea to just go straight in with the shampoo, you know? Like you need something to kind of Add in some moisture before you strip it. Oh yeah, this is such a better way. I'm telling you guys, my hair never reverts this fast, ever. So maybe my wash and go will look really good first time. Yeah, because I was gonna say, a long time ago I read on the, I think it was called Hair Rules website. Um, I think the owner is Anthony Dickens. He is a professional hairstylist. And I think he, yeah, and he also has his own product line. And I remember reading somewhere or watching a video actually of um, him talking about you know natural hair and stuff like that. Wow, this looks like a different curl powder. I've never seen my hair look like this before, you guys. Like ever. Because my hair is like type 4A curls. This looks like 3B or something. I've never seen it like that before, but I'm sure once I get everything out, my hair will be back to normal and better. I miss my curls. He was saying that um it's better to straighten your hair more often than to keep it straight for a longer period of time. If you wanna keep your hair straightened for two weeks straight, it's better to leave it in for one week straight, wash it, and then flat iron again to keep it in for one week than to just flat iron it once and keep it in for two weeks. And at first I was like, wow, I was in shock. I'm like, oh wow, are you sure? Cause I'm like, that means you're putting in heat twice and uh, that doesn't make sense and all that kind of stuff. But then when he explained it, he said, because when we leave our hair in a straightened period for so long without the moisture that we need, um, that's actually more damaging than to put the moisture back into our hair after a week and then flat iron it again, because at least we're adding moisture back into our hair. So I don't know. I really don't know what to think about that, you guys. Let me know what your guys' opinion is on that, because I agree, but I don't agree at the same time. Like putting heat in your hair, obviously, is uh, a risk for damage, you know, especially like depending on the temperature. And like for me, like my hair needs like at least 400 degrees to get straight. And this time around, I think I use 420, um, but my flat iron goes up to 450. I'm not really trying to do it twice in a row like that. 
but then I can see what he means because it's like every day that goes by that my hair is straight it's just getting drier and drier and drier and there's nothing I can do to get that moisture back in because it's very hard to moisturize your hair when it's straight so and our hair really needs moisture like pretty often so especially once you put in the blow dryer and the flat iron and all that so you guys let me know what you guys think and how long do you guys keep your hair straight for because there's some girls that I watch that they leave their hair straight for like three weeks because it's such a long process and you're not going to do it often so you're like I might as well you know keep it in for as long as possible and like their hair reverts back but again everyone's hair is different like for me I work out and everything and so for me it's so hard to keep my hair straight like it looks good for the first few days and then all of a sudden it just looks crazy that's why I always have to end up putting like wand curls in or flexi rods or like create like a different style with it okay so I finished this side as you can see my hair is already like shrinking so much which is amazing good sign that your hair is shrinking because your curl pattern is coming back to life it's still a lot looser than it really is in real life so I'm really hoping that I get all my curls back so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually put my hair in um, a plastic cap and I'm not gonna sit underneath the heat, but I will just kind of let the heat generate from my scalp and help absorb the conditioner into my hair with the baggy method so that I get to maximize the moisture going into my hair. And then I'm going to wash it out with shampoo. So I really hope this works out, you guys. Like I'm always kind of nervous with my front pieces because they're more finer in texture, so they're more at risk for getting damaged with heat. But I've never had heat damage since I've been natural, so that's really, really good. Um, I don't actually use a flat iron again twice. After, once I've straightened my hair once, I do not touch it up again with a flat iron. But I will add in a curling wand, but I don't feel like it's as like damaging as a flat iron. I don't know, I could be wrong, but that's how I feel. But So I really hope my curls come back. Okay, so I am back with my hair. This is second day wash and go. Kind of like first and a half because I did it really late at night and then I let it air dry overnight and I did kind of sit underneath the hood dryer for about like I don't know half an hour just to kind of finish off the drying. I didn't stretch it or anything like that because I wanted to show you guys like the actual curl pattern that came back fully and so I'm really happy about that. But I want to mention that usually I actually don't get my curl pattern back right after I straighten my hair and wash it. It usually takes about a few washes to get my curls back. Um, they're usually just a bit more looser and uh, but I feel like because I did an aloe vera pre-poo before I washed my hair, I feel like it did really strengthen my hair and it helped in getting my curl pattern back. So if you guys wanna see that video, that one is actually coming up next right after this one. And it was my first time trying it. I was kind of a little scared to try it because I do have low porosity and protein sensitive hair. And usually aloe vera and me, we just don't mix, but sometimes it depends on how you use it and what you mix it with. And also just the way that I actually reverted my hair back. Like I started off with conditioner and really scrunched my hair and I left that in for a very long time to kind of get that moisture back in before I went in with the shampoo to strip out all the product buildup so that's definitely new for me so I feel like that also helped getting my curls back right away anyways I'm really happy to have my curls back I always miss my hair so much once it's been straightened so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know how you guys go ahead and revert your hair back to curly from straight do you guys have any different techniques you guys use or it doesn't really matter the way you guys do it as long as you just like wash your hair the regular routine so thank you guys so much for watching again if you guys like this video go ahead and subscribe like comment and share and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!